trying, trying so hard. I don't, she was trying to get away from me, just wouldn't go away. A family's heartache. A mother is murdered as her six-year-old daughter watches in horror, and still she somehow has the strength to call for help. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Joanne Purton. And I'm Carolyn Clifford. It still seems so unbelievable for loved ones of a Detroit woman. And as 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig shows us, it all stemmed from an ex who threatened to kill her before her birthday. Six-year-old Kayla was Shalana's only child, her little princess, wanting to give her the world, and Shalana was days away from starting a new job. She was doing so good. She just bought a house. She just got accepted. She, she had an orientation for Chrysler. Like, she was in a happy state. Like, why would he do it? Like, I don't understand it. Tuesday night in front of her new house on West Outer Drive, police say Shalana's ex-boyfriend, 48-year-old Joe Lloyd, shot and killed her. It appears he confronted Shalana outside as she was getting ready to head back to her mother's house. And it happened in front of six-year-old Kayla. Relatives say Kayla used his cell phone to call Shalana's mother, her grandma. She saw everything. She saw the holes in her mama body. She saw everything. Relatives say Shalana broke up with her controlling boyfriend several weeks ago, but he wouldn't let go and even threatened to kill her, her mom, and himself. But Shalana never imagined he would actually go through with it. He was going to kill Shalana and kill her mom and kill herself, and she wasn't going to make it to see her birthday. He was very jealous, very jealous person. You don't expect for no one to just maniac out like that. After killing Shalana, police say her ex-boyfriend went to Royal Oak, where he took his own life, leaving the lives of Shalana's loved ones shattered, especially her little girl. This would be something that would be on her mind and heart for the rest of her life. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.